Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new week. And this week, I'm just going to show you a little bit of how I do some editing for Tales of Valhalla, the Aftermath Chronicles. And not really editing, more so just um, turning the pictures into a stop motion type video. And as you see right now, I'm taking the uh, photos that I have been doing lately and moving them into a different folder. So basically, right now I'm transferring them from the SD card into a file on my computer. And I will put them in there. Give me a second. Okay, so once I have those photographs, um, all those little stop motion photographs filed, I like label the file, and then I move it into a piece of software called iKit Movie, where I'm able to render my photos into something more film worthy. So. Press the I can movie and there it comes up. I can movie isn't the best software in the world as far as doing it in stop motion, but I mean under my budget it's good enough for me. And I mean it's good enough for a person to get started on and, and like if you want to in the future then move on to something um, a bit better. There are there is better pieces of software out there. Um, but right now I am using I can movie. And I'm taking photographs I have, but first I gotta create a new file, a new work file for this program. <clears throat> and type in file name and then hit save, and then it allows me to import images, which is great. So I'm gonna import some photos that I just took. There we go. And then hit open and it's all going to just, as soon as I hit that, it's going to download into the timeline. Down there. There we go. And sometimes it takes a few minutes to download. Sometimes this uh, program does have glitches too at times, and I just gotta like start over again. But usually, downloads like that, nice and fair. And then it's got a wonderful playback option here that I will uh, play back and able to see how everything goes. So we hit playback and. Then we start and we see some movement here from this shot. And I just and I'm, what I'm checking for is to make sure everything's going smoothly and whether or not I need to change the uh, pacing of or the movement of these figures. If I need to make them go faster or slower, I can do it within this program. So after I look through it once, I decide okay, it needs to be probably a little bit slower. They might be moving a little too fast. So, I'm able to work that with that tool. And then I just check again to make sure that everything goes. They're moving a bit smoother, you know, more human like as possible. And there they are moving. I think one of the difficulties of animating figures like this is that the only way to animate them is by moving them from their base. That's really all you can do. So to give as much animation as possible to them, you just got to do your best. <clears throat> After checking a few times, I am going to import these pictures into and change, convert them into basically an MP4 video file in which I can 
use to edit with later. <clears throat> After I see that all it's all done and the video, that piece of video is smooth, I will end up saving the program first and then converting those pictures into an MP4 video. And there I go and I give them an HD quality so they're a very um, high definition quality uh, video when they come out because they are high definition pictures anyway. <clears throat> and then I create them. Make sure everything names right and start rendering them and here we get to rendering. Woo, boo, 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 rendering, 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 rendering. And as soon as I'm done rendering them, it puts the video in a file I don't want them to be, so I transfer it over to the video to where I want it, to where it's, to where it's uh, edit ready. And I'm not going to get into like where I edit the video and put everything together yet. That's going to come later, much later. I need to get like a lot of uh, these photos made and I mean a lot of scenes done first before I really start doing a lot of editing. <clears throat> My main focus is just get all, most of all the stop motion done before doing the full editing. So, and I think, I think <laughs> the hardest thing is actually waiting for um, all this stuff to render and load and stuff. It just uh, sometimes it takes forever. Yeah, like I said, okay, I'm going to transfer the video file into the folder that I need it. And it's already ready there, so and right, it's the right area. And I just click it and transfer it, and there it's done. So that is basically what I do to convert all those stop motion photos that I'm making for Tales of Valhalla into a good video format. And like I said, we will do editing some other time, but that is it, and I will see all of you next week.